I'm Sonny, and I'd like to welcome you to Sonny's Piano and Wellness Variety TV Show. Uh, our motto is that everyone can play the piano, okay? Everyone can play the piano. You don't have to have years of training. At any age, you can start playing the piano. And that if there was a piano in every home, in every school in the world, the world would be a better place, because piano playing is therapeutic. It relaxes us. It helps us channel ne negative feelings of tension and stress into positive, productive behavior. It releases dopamine and beta endorphins in the brain, so we get a sense of well-being. It's a creative outlet. Okay? It gives us a way to express ourselves. And uh, so everyone can do it, too. And that's what this show is about, is to demonstrate simple, easy ways so that you can just sit down and start making music. All right? Uh, today's show, we're going to have uh, uh, tips on how to get into the flow while you're playing the piano and in general. We're going to show you some Sonny's Piano Yoga exercises, stretching and breathing exercises to help relax you and reduce tension and stress. We're going to have a tip on how to get your preschooler into playing the piano in a nice, fun, relaxed way. We're going to have a video tour of a Steinway Model L. Steinways are just remarkable pianos. Pianos are remarkable things, okay? And uh, we are going to, every week, uh, give you some uh, tours of the inside and the outside of pianos, explain them, explain the history of them. So this is a great show all the way around. We have a jazz music corner where we have people playing uh, jazz music on the piano. We have a classical music corner where we're going to bring you uh, people playing classical music. So this is a fun, entertaining, educational, informative piano show. And uh, as I said, this week's show is called Getting Into the Flow. And in the beginning of the show, we had the, uh, some of the uh, shots and the fishes and, uh, and sea life from the Atlantis Aquarium here in Riverhead, New York. And we used that because we wanted to kind of get you into the sense of um, that flowing is something that's very natural. And in nature, you know, birds fly, fish swim, and everything, I think it's the trees blow in the wind. There's this natural sense of flowing all around us. But as human beings, because we've been conditioned to stand up straight, hold the stomach in, chest out, uh, walk a certain way, uh, talk a certain way, uh, a lot, we, we restrict our breathing, and we tend to lose that sense of flowing through life. So. Uh, what we're going to do uh, today is show you uh, first some stretching and breathing exercises that can help you to relax and get into the flow in general, reduce tension and stress. Then I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do on the piano to get into the flow. And in fact, what I was playing uh, while the uh, fishes were swimming and flowing around was a uh, exercise I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Okay, so, but uh, let me just say this about the flow. Okay, there's. Uh, a lot of things that can relax us and reduce tension and stress and get us into this sense of flow or the zone as it's called. Uh, and and this, then this flow, this zone is beneficial whether you're playing the piano, whether you're exercising, playing sports, walking down the street, doing your homework, washing the dishes. You know, to breathe, relax, let go, get into the flow is something that will just benefit you both physically and mentally. So. Let's start with a Sonny's Piano Yoga uh, exercise uh, session here. We'll give you a few minutes of uh, various uh, stretching exercises and breathing techniques that you could do before you play the piano that will help get you into the flow more. <laughs> so let's start with this. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Again, deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe through your mouth. You want to get some oxygen into your system. Uh, one of the things that uh, uh, happens when you tense up is you restrict your breathing and therefore you restrict the amount of oxygen and that reduces your circulation. So every once in a while, take a slow deep breath. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just stop and remember, oh yeah, breathe deep. So do it with me. Again, deep breath. Inhale, exhale. And also, when you're breathing, try not to be a high chest breather. Most people, when they inhale, they pull the stomach in. They go, they suck the stomach in, and they exhale, it comes out. 
okay? This does not enable you to get as much oxygen into your system as uh, your body really needs. When you inhale, try to let the stomach come out like this. Inhale, then breathe up into the chest, and then exhale, let the stomach come in. Do it again, inhale, and expand the chest, exhale, like that. So take slow, deep breaths. Okay, let's do some exercises. Again, right before you play the piano, sit down, do a couple of these, and then it'll get you more relaxed and into the flow. All right, let's try this. I call these shoulder rolls. Just roll your shoulders backwards, like this. Good. Okay. And then roll your shoulders forward. Come on, do this with me. Ah, that feels good. Okay, because, you know, especially piano players, we tend to tense up very often while we're playing. So you want to loosen up the shoulders, get the blood flowing, okay? So bring your shoulders up, bring them down. Do this with me, come on. In, down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, bring up this shoulder and down, and bring up this shoulder and down. Uh, whether you're just beginning and playing the piano or you're an advanced player, it always helps to get a little more relaxed right before you play. So uh, do these exercises with me. And again, inhale and exhale. Okay, let's try this. Just stretch your head to the right. Good. And then stretch your head to the left. Nice and easy. Don't force. Don't strain. Good. And to this side. And to this side. Nice and easy. Good. And then let your chin fall to your chest. And then come up. Deep breath. And down again. Okay. Never force a strain. Never hurt yourself when you're doing any kind of stretching exercise, even if it's light like this. Okay. All right. Here's another thing you can do. Just hold on to the elbow and stretch a little this way. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Nice and easy. Good. Try it this way. I'm going to stretch out rhomboids. Good. Shoulder. Good. Let's try this. Just interlock your hands. Stretch here. Good. Stretch up here. And go to the side a little. Good. Go to the other side. Nice and easy. Primarily, we're looking to loosen up the shoulders, the neck, the chest, to get yourself relax so you can breathe more deeply. Because that's another thing. Uh, when we're under stress and tension, we tend to hold the breath. As soon as you start holding your breath, carbon dioxide builds up, get more anxious, performance anxiety, start worrying about what you're going to do right or wrong. Breathe deeply and relax, okay? So if you do these exercises just like this, here's another one, just kind of do like this, like a little Tai Chi movement. Just relax. If you do this before you play the piano, or you do this before you do anything, you do this just for the sake of doing it. It's going to help you feel better. So this, just get into the flow a little bit. Good. All right. And one more time. Deep breath. And exhale. Good. Okay. Very nice. All right. So now I'm going to show you this uh, technique that I was saying about get, uh, before that will help you get into the flow while you're playing the piano. Now, whether you've never touched the piano before or you're an advanced piano player, by doing this exercise, it gets you more into the flow, gets you relaxed, gets you to stop thinking about whether you're playing the right note, the wrong note, and it's a lot of fun to do. I call this the black note flow exercise. So here we go. All right, I call this the black note flow exercise because what we're gonna do here is just play the black notes and only the black notes. Right? And if you play just the black notes, everything will harmonize. So again, you, you could have never touched the piano before, but you can do this, all right? And again, you could be an advanced player, and this will help you just relax and stop thinking and just get into the flow. So the first thing you want to do is press the right pedal of the piano. Okay, you want to press that down, bring the dampers up so the notes will sustain like that. Hear that? If you don't press the right pedal, you hit the note, it does not sustain. So for our purposes here, we want the notes to sustain, okay? Now, if you're playing a keyboard uh, and you don't have a, 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 a damper pedal, then just put the sustain button on so that the note rings or use a voice like strings or something that will draw out the note, okay? And uh, here we go, very simple. So press that right pedal, all right? Now, the idea here is not to think. Just relax, just flow. Just like we were doing the exercise, stretching, not thinking. Same thing here. This is like just 
a flowing exercise. So let's start with this. Take the index finger, with right hand, and just walk up the piano. Skip some notes. Just play the black notes. Same thing with the left hand. Index finger, right hand, left hand. Just play any note. Don't think. In fact, just breathe, relax, let go. And flow. Okay? Now let's try it with two fingers. All right? The thumb and the index finger. And just stretch them out. And you hear that? Just go up the keyboard, no thinking. And in case you just started playing the piano, congratulations, that's your first chord. So chord is any combination of notes. So let's do it with the left hand. Thumb, index finger. Stretch them out. Let's do it with both hands. Play rhythmically. Breathe. Just flow. Play any notes. Use these two fingers for the moment. Good. Now let's use more fingers. Okay. Uh, let's try using uh, the thumb. Uh, let's try using the pinky and any one of these other fingers you want. Let's play three notes. We stretch them out. So I'm going to use these three fingers. So we go like this. Same thing in the left hand. Three fingers. You can use the pinky, the index finger, and the thumb. Stretch them out. Same thing with the right hand. Thumb, index finger, pinky. And now let's play both hands. Go up and down. And just relax. Breathe. some splashes. Just take the bottom of your hand, splash the other way. Let's do some rolls. Just pick three notes and roll up and down. Hold that pedal down. Same thing with the left hand. Black note flow. Okay, so now let's do all of it, put it all together. You know, one single notes, splashes, rolls, chords, and just relax, flow, don't think, play along with me if you buy a piano. Otherwise, next time you buy a piano keyboard, this is how it would go. And this is how, what I was doing at the beginning. time you do this, it'll flow easier. No thinking. Play rhythmically. Play single notes. your uh, sunny uh, piano tip for today and how to get into the flow. Okay, now we're going to have a video tour of this Steinway Model L. This piano was made in 1925. Incredible instrument. I just love pianos. I've been playing since I was seven. And there's just something so special about this instrument. You know, the, all that you can do on it, all the different sounds you can get. So uh, each week we're going to have a video tour of a different piano. But today, here it is a video tour of a Steinway a Model L. This is a six-foot Steinway.
wasn't that phenomenal? Steinway is just incredible instruments. Piano is just incredible instruments. And uh, if you want to see uh, more video tours of our pianos, uh, go to sonyspianotv.com. Next, we're going to have another piano tip. This one is on how to introduce your preschooler to the piano. Now, this is uh, me giving a, a piano lesson to my nephew, Josh, and this is his very first piano lesson. He's about three and a half years old here. So uh, let's take a look at this and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Let's try this. Let's play follow the leader. I'll do something and then you do it, okay? Here we go. nephew Josh. He's quite a character. He's uh, not camera shy at all. And, uh, but you see what I'm, I'm trying to say about even when you introduce it to a child, you know, in a very relaxed way, you want to just like introduce the piano to them, not really tell them to play it this way or try to be perfect or you know, just make it a fun, enjoyable experience. Reinforce it for them. Whenever, whatever they play, when they go to the piano or the keyboard, just like compliment on it. Nurture them and nourish them. And, uh, You'll be glad you did because this will be something that they will uh, uh, turn to and could grow into. Because piano playing, as I said, is just excellent for everyone. And children can help to reduce uh, tension and stress and that gives them a vehicle to channel some of those negative, confusing emotions that they have at times. So it's just a wonderful thing. All right. Now, we are going to go to our jazz corner. And today, uh, it's my... Uh, uh, privilege and a pleasure to uh, introduce my colleague, my friend, and actually uh, 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 my, my, my teacher, Connie Crothers, who uh, introduced me to improvisation. And Connie is just like, uh, I think I heard it quoted, one of the most famous, not yet famous uh, jazz pianists on the planet. She's a great person, great teacher, and she's uh, in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. She teaches there, and she uh, holds uh, jam sessions and concerts. And this is a clip of Connie and Valentina Nazarenko, also a great pianist, a classical and jazz pianist, having a duo, playing a duo at Steinway Hall in Manhattan a couple years back. And they got, both got on t uh, t Steinway B, uh, and they, they did this jam session that's just incredible. It's, this is all improvised, and uh, hope you enjoy it. This is Connie Crothers and Valentina Nazarenko at Steinway Hall.
that something else? Did you ever hear anything like that? And just unbelievable. Connie Valentina, great pianist. And if you want to see more of that uh, concert, uh, visit our website, sonyspianotv.com, and go into the Jazz Cafe. And there are more uh, clips from that great concert. Okay, we're going to end today's show with our classical music piano corner. And in this uh, clip, um, I have one of my uh, piano teachers who taught at my school, um, uh, Michelle, who uh, now attends uh, a Crane School of Music upstate New York on a scholarship. And uh, she's going to play uh, Fur Elise by Beethoven the traditional way. And uh, I'm going to uh, uh, play along with her, and I'm going to do an improvisation on Fur Elise. So we're going to be on two different pianos, and uh, here it is. It uh, came out very nice, very sweet. We just sat down and did it the first time. And uh, I'd like to thank you for uh, coming to uh, see another Sony's Piano TV show. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.